Check, check. Check one, check two. Hey, what's up, everybody? Joe Simpson. I wanted to share some new info with you guys and explain this whole thing before I get accused of something that I'm not part of. It's not a big deal. Um, I've been making videos for about, I don't know, seven years. I've been making videos for real, for real, for probably the last two, two and a half years. Um, I pride myself in trying to be as honest and open about everything that I can be. I buy lures from China, America, Mexico, Japan, Australia. Um, I don't really, you know, stay loyal to one brand or the other. Typically, I don't like swear by a certain type of fishing rod or fishing reel, although I do have a lot of certain ones. Um, I think equipment is up to the user. You know, you're going to use what you like and what you can afford. In the past couple of years, I've put out hundreds of videos and they're not always the greatest videos. And I'm not saying that I'm a great videographer or this channel is something special, but it is nice to get recognized by vendors and suppliers to say, hey, you get a little bit of a following. People watch and listen to what you say and do. So would you like to look at and talk about our stuff? And I'm always open to that type of partnership because I get some free stuff sometimes. Um, I can maybe get some new stuff that I wouldn't necessarily buy myself. And I can also share the information with the world at large. So I'm not opposed to that. And I never knock anybody for teaming up with like Luz or Shimano or whatever it is that happens. I don't think you're a sellout necessarily when people do that kind of thing. It's just, hey, you know, we're out here doing our thing. And if, if after all the hard work and videos that I've done over the last couple of years, and it's not just the videos, it's out there trekking around in the mud and the, and the fishing. Now I love that. So it's not like a, you know, something I'm doing as like a job or work, but it's a labor of love. So it's, it's definitely a hobby that's not easy to do. And I fish in all temperatures, all times of the year. Long story short, I reached out to Monster Bass a while back and I said, hey, would you guys consider partnering with me? And they did send me an email back that I said, congratulations, you're part of the team. So immediately I thought, oh, wow, free gear for the next year. And it's not really like that. It's not how it works. Um, what they did was they bumped my subscription up to a pro level box, which is the highest level box you can get. And they discounted it to where it comes in at the price of like a normal box. Um, so I'm getting like $10 per box off. So it is a discount. And I will do unboxings and I'll preview their lures and their tackle that they're sending in these boxes. And I'll share with you my honest thoughts. You really can't ask for more. I'm just going to be as honest as I can be about this stuff and tell it like it is. And if it doesn't work out and the relationship doesn't go on, then that's okay. Um, but I really appreciate Monster Bass at least extending uh, a little bit of a discount to me the partnership opportunities, and some of the different uh, benefits that go along with this box subscription thing. I don't know if I'm going to be doing slams where I try to catch a fish on every single lure. I just want to pull these things out, look at them, see what we've got, talk about how they could be helpful and useful, and see if there's something that you would be interested in. Now, in the links below, if you go through down below in this video and you click on the Monster Bass link, you will be clicking through my partnering link. So it will help me. So if you decide to go with Monster Bass, just jump down there and click through and that'll give me a couple points um, discount on my subscription as well. And by all means, try to hit up Monster Bass on your channel and see if you can help and partner with them also. Let's get into the unboxing. Here is the Monster Bass box for this month. I have not opened it yet. I haven't even looked at it. I haven't even seen a Monster Bass unboxing this month, so I don't even know what's in here. So let's go through it together and see what it's like. First thing I see are these really cool, they're called BB Kickers. Wait till you see these things. These are swim baits. They're called BB Kickers. They're by Big Bite. And they're kind of like a big, looks like about a four, four and a half inch uh, swim bait, but they're kind of thick and fat. Let me pull one out, take a look at it. This could be good. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so the way they're made, first of all, they're really, really soft and they've got actual eyes glued in here and they've got a really big slot, hook slot in the bottom. So you could make this thing weedless and hide those hooks just underneath the back and this would be a killer swim bait. Yeah, these are really nice. You know, it's always good to get different swim baits. I have been a proponent for Kytex for years. I love the Kytex swim baits. The only problem with them is they tend to fall apart. Sometimes you can't use certain hooks certain ways with those because they don't hold up well. If you try the Elastec Diesel Minnows, those hold up pretty good. They don't like corkscrew type hooks, so you have to use a special hook for those. So I always like getting different swim baits just to keep it real and keep it mixed up. Um, this next thing, I'm trying to see what this is. This is kind of crazy. This is like a, 
a funky looking frog and I've never seen one of these. It's by Chase Bates and it's called the Wiggle Bomb. Get a load, well, I think I'm gonna have to just pull this thing out. It's not sitting right in the box. Let's just look at this thing. This is a funky, this is kind of a funky looking little frog. It's got uh, kind of a sparkly body. It looks like it's hollow body. It looks like it floats, but it has like a corkscrew tail that's probably gonna make some noise through the water. Um, I'll be interested to see how this works. I don't know if it floats. I would say no. It's hollow, so it probably holds air and goes down slowly. But honestly, I don't know if it floats. We'll find out. We'll put it in the water and see. Now, this is a spinner bait that I would definitely use. This is a classic Z-Man swim bait. It has the Colorado and the Willow blade in silver with the shad color. This is your perfect all-around spinner bait. So this is a, a top-notch lure here. You know, probably not the most expensive thing in the world, but the paint job on the head looks good. The hooks are always awesome on the Z-Man stuff, so that's going to work out. Um, we also have, oh, this is kind of different. I have the Batwing Z from Z-Man. Haven't seen these before. This looks like a little creature bait, so I'll be interested to see how that looks. Let's pull this out of the package. Uh, oh, okay, very cool. Yeah, it's just a, like a creature bait, chunk bait thing, um, but in the Z-Man Elastec. Let's pull that apart. All right, so that's what that looks like there. It's got purple. It's like a, uh, what do they call this when they do two colors? It's a laminated bait. It's got little legs that kick. It's got a nice chunky upper body section that's going to be really good for hooking. You could use the mushroom heads. You could use different types of configurations, put them on the back of different trailers. Um, yeah, that's going to be very useful. And you know it's going to be durable because it's Elastec. And that stuff just doesn't pull apart that easily. So it comes in a package of looks like six. And the other ones are more purple. And the one that I pulled out was more fleshy. So we can try both and see which one works better. But they look very cool. This one's near and dear to my heart. This takes me back to when I was a kid. This is a uh, head and torpedo. Really cool size. Your classic head and torpedo. It's about two inches long. It's got the kind of, uh, I, I guess they're aluminum hooks maybe. Uh, they're always pretty tacky and sharp. But I love these lures. I used these when I was a kid, and I look forward to maybe throwing this again to see if I can get some fish on it. I always like these little torpedo uh, jerk baits with little propeller blades and stuff on them. Um, it's like a trip down memory lane here. Uh, Daiichi? Is it Daiichi hooks? So we got some cool hooks, little offset worm hooks, DW worm hooks they're called. Good size, look like a two maybe. Be good for all around. This is from 13 Fishing. And these are called, I think I had some of these before. Yeah, they're Ninja Craws with the Ninja Tail. And these are like a uh, candy apple color. Or not even candy apple, like a green apple color. Or shall we call it pumpkin, green pumpkin, something like that. Uh, really chunky looking baits, solid bodies, thick. Uh, those will probably kick some serious water. Oh yeah, if I remember right, these are the Super Mega Certified Donkey Sauce and max buoyancy so again donkey sauce you can't beat it and then last but not least in this box it looks like a lipless but it's kind of a uh, natural color natural color lipless crankbait type thing can always use those made by savage gear it's called fat vibes and it's 66 and it looks like it's about yep seven tenths of an ounce two and two thirds inches 66 millimeters that's why they call it the 66. Um, good looking bait let me pull that out i'll show it to you and what i like about this is it has very natural colors very bluegill pattern could be a whole host of different fish that you would fish in different rivers and different uh, ponds streams lakes you name it so good size looks like the hooks are killer uh, good bait okay so quick review I've got the lipless, I've got the offset hooks, I've got the 13 fishing craws, we picked up a head and top water lure, little torpedo guy there, a classic shad colored spinner bait, a very weird looking froggy thing, and it's called Big Wiggle Bomb. So we'll have to see how that thing works. That's going to be very interesting, to say the least. I think I'm going to try that this weekend. 
we've got a couple of Z-Man uh, Elastec, they're chunk bait kind of things, and they're called bat wings, and they're two and three quarter inches, so they'd be perfect trailers, perfect uh, little jig setup, so that's going to be cool. You know they'll hang in there and last. Last but not least, we're looking at some really cool swim baits. These are in the four and a half inch variety and a little bit heavier than your average Kitek. So they're going to push some water and I love the chartreuse streak down the middle. All in all, a good box, guys. Um, this is a pretty good one. I'm pretty excited to get it. Again, don't think that I'm a sellout. I hate it when people say, oh, you're a sellout. I know Carl Olgren's going to say now that I've said that, that, hey, Joe, you're a sellout. But I'm not. I just want to uh, partner up and try some different things. And also, you know, these boxes coming to me, even though I'm still paying for them, I'm getting a heavy discount. But at least it gives me material and it gives me some more things to talk about, some more things to show for you guys. And, of course, some things to try on the weekend. Because I think Pat was out at our frog pond that we usually frog at, and he was not doing real well the other day. He said it looked like the frog bite was slowing down. So these fish might be moving into deeper water, might be moving to different cover. So it's nice to have these different lures in my arsenal to remind me it's not all about frog fishing, even though I would argue the opposite. But anyway, you guys have a good day. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. I think what I'm going to do on future unboxings is I'm going to do like a live stream. And I, what I'd like to do is include you guys on the unboxing, pull the thing out. And have you guys tell me like what you think about it, if you've used anything like it, where I should use it, when I should try it, that type of thing. So you guys let me know if that sounds like a good idea. Hang in there. Have a good week. It's terribly hot in Virginia, I know. So if you guys are in the heat wave that we're in, just keep plugging and keep fishing. And I'll talk to you soon. Tight lines. See ya.